Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn something very useful and very important in SOAP UI and that is setup and teardown and in this session we are going to see what exactly is setup and teardown what is the use of it and how do we write setup and teardown scripts in SOAP UI and we will also see how can we set setup and teardown scripts with the help of groovy scripts in SOAP UI so let's get started and let me open my SOAP UI. So the SOAP UI is up. I will just close this starter page. And here, if I go to any project, let me go to this project, REST project 1. And if you go to the test suites, here you can see setup script and teardown script. So if you click here, you get a editor where you can write some script and similarly if you click on teardown script again you get an editor where you can write some scripts so what exactly is this setup and teardown script so setup script as the name suggests is a script where you can do some setup and essentially this is the script that will run before running any test suite in this project and similarly teardown script is a script that will run after running all the test suites so we have set up and tear down script at the project level before and after running every test suite we also have set up and tear down at the test suite level so whatever script or whatever information you give here will be executed before running this test suite and whatever information or scripts are given in the tear down script of this test suite will be executed after running this test suite and similarly we have setup and tear down at test case level so setup is runs before running the element in context so element in context means if you are setting up a setup at a test suite level then it will be test suite if it is a test case level then the element will be test case and similarly tear down is runs after running the element in context now here the general use of doing setup and tear down can be for example before running some particular test case or a test suite or before running the project you might want to do some settings you might want to have some variables initialized with some values you might want to delete some rows in the database or things like that and similarly for tear down you might want that after running a test case or a test suite or all the test cases inside a test suite you might want to delete some values in the database or you might want to change some uh, values in the environment and things like that you might also want to send an email at the end of running all the test suites or test cases and that code also you can put in the tear down so now let us go and let us quickly go to our project level and go to test suites and here in the test setup script i will say log.info and i will say this runs before all test suites and i will copy this and at the tear down i will say this runs after all test suites okay and if i run this and go to the script log you can see this says this runs before all test suites and then it has ran the test suite and after that it has executed this statement this runs after all test suites from the tear down let me just clear this and run this again so you see first it ran the setup script then it ran the test suite and then it ran the tear down script let me go to the test suite level and at the test suite level as well i will put a setup script and i will say this runs before test suite 1 and in the tear down i will say this runs after test suite 1 and similarly i will go to the test case level and here again i will go to setup script and i will say this runs before test case 1 and in the tear down i will say this runs after test case 1 now let me go to the script log clear this and uh, let me just run test case 1 from here now you see 
it executed the setup script for test case 1 then it executed all the steps and as of now we have a single step it executed this request and then it executed the teardown script of test case 1 where we wrote this runs after test case now similarly if i go to the test suite level and i will again clear this and run the test suite now and you can see it executed the test suite setup script then it executed the test case setup script it executed whatever inside their test case was and then it executed the teardown script for test case and then the teardown script for test suite similarly let me clear this and let me now go to the project level and go to test suites and now let me run this all the test suites and here you can see again first we ran the setup script for all the suites which is at the project level then the setup script for test suite 1 and then the test uh, setup script for test case 1 and then the teardown scripts in the same manner so now you can also have some groovy steps for example i have already written the notes in case you want to set up this setup and teardown scripts with the help of groovy script this is the code i will copy it and let me just create a groovy step here i will say setup and teardown groovy and here is the editor and i can do this so the syntax is test runner dot test case dot test suite dot project dot get test suite by name and you can put the name of your test suite and then dot get test case by name put the name of your test case and then set setup script and whatever script you want to set up and then similarly for teardown you can say dot set teardown script and then whatever teardown script you want to set up okay so i will say this is setup for test one and i will say this is teardown for test one and then you can also get the setup and teardown script with the help of this code test runner dot test case dot get setup script and test runner dot test case dot get teardown script so now let us run this and see if we are setting the setup and teardown scripts correctly with the help of groovy script so i'll just run this and you can see it has set and get the same setup and teardown script that we had set in our groovy script so the setup script is setup for test one and the teardown is teardown for test one so this is how you can set a setup and teardown script with the help of groovy script and you can also fetch the values with these scripts now there is something else that you can do and that is if you want to put your setup and teardown scripts in a file and then you want at the load of a project this should be set up in the setup and teardown scripts for that you can use this particular code in the load script of your project so let me show you where is the load script i will go at the project level and if you see here if you go to the overview you will find this option called the load script here click here and here whatever you will give whatever scripting you will do this script will be executed as soon as a project is loaded or as soon as you open your soap ui so i will just add this code here and let me maximize this okay so here yes we are actually getting the information or the code from these files setup.txt and teardown.txt and then we are using this code to set this setup and teardown at the test case level okay so now we have to create these files now what you can do is you can just create these files in the bin folder of your soap ui and therefore you will not have to give the entire path here you can just give the name here so the bin folder is located at in case of windows it is c program files smart beer and then you will have your soap ui folder so wherever your soap ui folder is go to that location and inside that you will have a bin folder and here you can give these files in case you want to give these files anywhere else then you will have to give the entire path here for example if i want to 
create these files at my desktop i will say this is setup.txt and i will create one more file which will be teardown.txt and in the setup.txt i will give some code i will say log info which is setup script and in teardown i will say this is teardown script and now i will just get the location of these files and put it here so this is the location let me replace the backslash with a forward slash so that it works on all the environments not just windows and similarly i will just copy this from here and paste it here so you can see now we are taking the setup and tear down from files and at the project load we are setting this setup and tear down at the test case level so i will just save everything and close it for now and now i will reopen my soap ui and see if the setup and tear down at test case level has been set up properly or not so now let me go to my project and let me go to the test case and this is the test case let me go to setup script and yes it is set up properly from the file and the tear down script is again set up properly from the file so this is how you can use setup and tear down and basically as i mentioned earlier this will be very useful whenever you want to do some basic actions before running the test case or before running any test suites inside the project and similarly if you want to do some actions after running these elements you can do that very easily using setup and tear down and that was all in today's session of soap ui i hope this was very useful for you i will meet you in the next episode of soap ui thank you for watching